And because you're born into the faith, you are Muslim. You have no choice. You don't actually choose at some point in your life to become a Muslim. You do want to convert people. But we, I was born in, in a home that, you know, we, were, we counted ourselves blessed to be Muslims. We went to prayers. We tried to pray usually, you know, uh, as much as we could five times a day. And we, you know, raised to understand who, who God was and, our, you know, God was, you know, he had certain rules that he wanted us to follow. And it was necessary for me to make sure my obligations were fulfilled. And, you know, the obligations, you know, you pray a certain way. There was a certain set way you prayed. Uh, certain direction you pray. So everything was pretty much dictated. So I wasn't searching for uh, a higher meaning. I was make, wanted to make sure that I was, uh, you know, not going to suffer the, you know, the hellfire, if you wanted to call it. My search began, or a shift in, uh, in my thinking began when I went to college. Met, a, you know, met some friends who were were believers and you know I did not know what that was. I was invited to uh, a church hayride and uh, that is the, you know that's a very prominent moment in my life because um, it, you know there were some kids on that ride too but before they took us on the ride they there was a man there and he shared shared what it meant to be a believer and what you know the sins of the world and Jesus the whole thing you know he took the sins away from you know from us from all of eternity and the people in the future, people in the past, and 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 I could not. I, that was the first time I actually heard what Jesus did for us, and and that planted the seed. And I actually, you know, pulled out the Bible and started reading uh, some of the things just to see if I could make some sense of what was going on in my mind. Um, you know, when debating between uh, converting from one religion to another, um, I felt a lot like a trapeze artist, where. If you left one thing that you felt was secure and you, and you let go of that, will the other one be there to catch you? And, uh, and I, I, I struggled with that a lot. I, I thought about you know, how uh, Christianity uh, handled situations versus how the Islam handled them. When I first heard about what it is to have your sins taken away, I had you know, intense conversations, intense uh, doubt and debate over, you know, everything that one would think of. Think of what what's going to happen when you convert and how that's going to impact you, your life, and your family. Um, just the fact that is is Christianity real? And you have to allow yourself to go through all of those thoughts and take them to to where they take you, so you can at least put them to rest. And so I had to uh, allow, and I had enough questions. Uh, that I had gone over and said, you know what, I think this makes more sense than that. And, you know, I think this situation, I think this would be, you know, for example, the love and the forgiveness. You know, if you were a family member and your son, you know, did something they shouldn't have done, you know, after they say oh, you're sorry, you want to, you know, give him a hug, love him and accept them back. And you wouldn't want him or her, you know, son or daughter to pay a price to come back into the fold. So, you know, those kinds of things just did not add up. You know, you hit a wall, you're not really allowed to ask questions in Islam that much anyway. So when, you know, I was hitting these walls and I knew, so okay, there's just something about this. And so I just went ahead and I guess, you know, the, 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 the event they asked me to go to, it's a, it's a crusade that they do, a pastors come out, uh, they have different ways of sharing the faith for people who might like church a different way, you know, uh, you know, have people share their personal stories. So, they, you know, they talked about the power of God. They talked about how God can, you know, uh, can control the spiritual universe, can hold back evil powers, can hold back, um, you know, the bad things and have great love and power and give it to you to be able to use it and, and set you free. So, you know, they're you know that was great for me you know I went out and I said I'm going I'm going to t take the leap you know accept the uh, the Lord in my heart and and you know I'd heard terminology about that and we prayed the sinners play a prayer you know and I think once that was done you know every all these loose ends start to you know start to come together when I uh, gave my life to the Lord at the crusade um, I was you know obviously on a high 
at least on that evening. And um, I, I, I felt a sense of freedom. I felt a sense of the things that I was concerned about that stopped me from taking the sleep to begin with were no longer an issue. You, I did, you know, my mom was, you know, very dear to me and it would have hurt her dearly that, um, you know, this, you know, her son is not a Muslim anymore, but it was as if I had this precious medicine that I had to share and I had to do what I had to do to get this so I could share it with my family. And uh, so, you know, the concerns that I had were not there anymore and the excitement was when you, I read more about uh, what, who God was, so much of the stuff that I did not understand and the, the, the stuff that was unanswered and how life should be and how the, how, you know, it, where the world should be or the universe should be made sense, you know, that, and that love was a major part of it and it was not just, you know, atoms come together to make something. And so, because there was a, an entity that loved me, something, and that I could give back and I could, uh, and I could share, and just all those questions that he had put in my heart were being answered. In my time of searching, I had, you know, I would, you know, I would have instances where I would see something that would trigger a, a thought, you know, and one of the, uh, one of the things I saw was a, um, um, a billboard that that just was so perfect for me it, it said something like um, the problem with the religion that has all the answers is that it doesn't allow any questions and that was just perfect in the in the belief system that I was in at the time it didn't allow any questions it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't let you do that so you know and I did also have a dream and I think back now maybe I didn't think too much of it at the time but it was I was dreaming and the plainest day I saw Jesus and he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And, you know, because I was so involved in all the stuff that I was thinking, I wrote it off as not a, not a, a thing that made me jump, but at least it was, it was a contributing factor that when I made a decision to make that leap of faith, it, it helped along. So it was part of the whole ingredients that made the, you know, that made the package and made the final conversion. As a Christian believer, one of the favorite verses of mine were the people my people are perishing for lack of knowledge and I it related to me you know in a big way because I came from a country part of the world that controlled the information flow in the country controlled what you you saw what you heard and um, and because of an additional um, tool of peer pressure and just your your society watching out after you I, you know you didn't get this information and I you know I think back now that if uh, Christianity was allowed in freely, they would have so many more converts in that country. So for me, um, you know, I would tell, tell those people who are, who are not believers yet, who are, who are Muslims, say, you know, think about the fact that you might, there might be some stuff that's kept from you. I would tell them first and foremost to understand that you may have been lied to. You may have been, you know, information might have been kept from you. And then once you get to that point, you're willing to say, okay, let me read another viewpoint. And then you can take the step from that, that point on. The person that I pray for is a friend of mine from high school. And uh, the, I pray for him that he may come into a place that he is exposed to a story like mine, you know, or um, just uh, he finds a group of friends that are willing to share the, the truth about the gospel because somebody was willing to share it with me and uh, if you if you don't hear it there's no chance you know for you to to be, to believe and I, I would wish I would pray I pray for him that he hears that and and he really gets a hold of the the freedom because I remember what his life was like and what his family situation was like because we were all in that and that it would be you know it would be a marvelous thing that if he would uh, you could hear that and, and, and be saved and, and know the Lord.